Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a pallet of goodness here. A uh, YouTube viewer contacted me actually a couple years ago about this. This is the uh, parts left over from a Carlton radial alarm drill that was scrapped at their factory. And he took the time to save all these parts off of it for me. And what this is, is the gearbox setup and AC motor setup that I could put on my Carlton to convert it from DC uh, to AC. Then I could run it with the regular three phase shot power that I generate in here as opposed to still needing to find a generator set to produce the DC power to run the drill correctly in its current configuration instead of running off the welder like I've been doing for the last several years since I fixed it and put it back into operation. The welder's certainly not the best method to uh, do it and it doesn't really have enough power or output to be able to run it like that, but it's enough to be able to use it. So that's what I've been doing. I haven't decided whether I want to switch it for sure, but I do have this stuff as an option for in the future, should I decide to go that route. Looks like some of these pieces maybe have some, uh, bit of wear to them. I'm sure the drill was scrapped because it must have not been in very good shape itself. So the fact that this stuff survives is a no small feat. I'm not sure this gearbox is the same height either as the one that's on my machine. They're definitely not identical boxes. Uh, because mine comes in the top instead of down here. So it's a little different. And actually, eh, it might be. It might be the same, or well, the same dimensionally. It, uh, big plate that's on the back of Carlton would have to be took off uh, as well to make this work so it would all sit down. I'm not sure what uh, would bolt on there in its place. It's like the motor was bolted to this bracket. So I got an AC motor, the first gearbox, which I believe that pulley and that piece Goes in there somehow. Uh, that's the hub and the box. Looks like it's a taper lock kind of deal. And it goes into that. And then we got the auxiliary gearbox that is kind of what's on my machine now. That's the pulley. And that's the hub that I believe goes behind the pulley. And I don't know what that piece is. So I assume it's some kind of a belt guard piece that maybe goes between that part and that part, but I'm not sure about that. I guess there's probably supposed to be a shift linkage to go with these two to come up to more of a single point shifting location for the speeds, but I don't have any of that stuff. That's my box set up. You can see it's got a input shaft on top. So it's a little different than what that one is. And then the big giant DC motor torque monster. Hadn't broke off yet. It looks like all this would need probably some major tension going through in order to get it up into operational status. But 
it's nice to have that option anyway. So for now, I'll just put this stuff in the storage and keep using the unit as it is. And perhaps in the future, we'll venture into uh, trying to get this to work. If I decide to change it to AC, I can put this other gearbox on there. The DC is nice because of it being fully variable and having monster torque. And the electric motor is super quiet. But uh, this is an alternative that could be there's a plate over here. I'm not sure what that's even for. Maybe it was a belt guard, but it looks like the, there's no belt guard for this part. So I'm not sure quite how that all went. I have to try and look online and find some pictures and maybe see more how this configuration is because uh, it's probably more common than what my setup is. Big giant DC's motors are not as uh, plentiful as these little AC's. But it's nice to have friends in low places that uh, can hunt this stuff up and make you aware of it. So uh, they saved it and I paid Fred Newman to haul it down to me as uh, time permitted. And it managed to trickle its way from uh, up north, five, six, seven hundred miles down to here, and uh, it's now with its other Carlton relative. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.